What's going on, bro? How you feeling? Shit, I'm feeling good, bro. What's good with you? Alrighty, all right, I'm doing pretty good with my damn self. Hey, man, we chopped it up a little bit off the camera, man, but go ahead and introduce yourself to the channel. I mean, shit, I'm FP Gutter, man. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 19 years old, man. I'm new to doing this music shit, but it's really not finna be, you know what I'm saying, the end of this route. Finna take off, we going up with this. Already, already. Milwaukee, man. Let's start from the jump, man. What it's like growing up out there? <laughs> it, it ain't. I mean, shit, it's, it's real fucked up. I mean, shit. It's like anywhere else, you know what I'm saying, with the murders and shit like that. But I mean, shit, as far as, you know what I'm saying, support, I wouldn't say you're going to get too much of that. But shit, I love my city, though. Okay, 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 okay. So, you know what I'm saying, like like you said before, you, you don't get support much in the city. Like, what made you even want to do the rap? I've been doing this since I was younger because, you know what I'm saying, my OG, you know what I'm saying, he had the studio and shit, you know what I'm saying, he been doing music. And shit, I just love music. It been in my soul and in my heart since I was younger and shit. Like, I don't know if when I blow up one day, I might release that song I got when I was four years old talking about, you know what I'm oh, saying, shit. how I like fat asses and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's slow down a little bit. So, like, you, how, how long you been doing the music? Well, like, for real, for real? Yeah. I mean, since I, for like two years. Okay, okay. But you made a song at, at, at four years old? Hell yeah. Remember the lyrics to it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So you said your, your OG had a studio like your pops? Yeah, and my mama, like, she she did a little bit of it here and there too, but she ain't really take it serious. You know, she had other priorities. Okay, okay. So your parents was in the music shit? Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, you know what I'm saying? You say you've been doing this music for two years. You in Dallas, you know what I'm saying, working grinding and investing in yourself, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of music inspirations you listen to growing up or like, if, if like, what, who, is there anybody you would compare yourself to or like, what kind of music inspirations did you got? I wouldn't compare myself to nobody, but I mean, growing up, I listened to Lil Wayne and shit. I fuck okay. with that nigga. That nigga, he the GOAT. Okay. And uh, who else? I can't really think of too many people off the top of my head, but Lil Wayne, if you see me when you looking at this, bro, tap me, bro. Absolutely. Shout out Wayne, you know what I'm saying? If you said you're from Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? And you talked about a little bit about the violence in the city. Like, is there any artists, like, I, I, don't, I really can't think of any, but is there any artist out of Milwaukee, like, that's on a mainstream level? Uh, I can't think of them off the top of my head. <laughs> nope. Man, so what you think, what you think, what you think that is? Cause you know what I'm saying? We, we fuck with Diamond Banks, you know what I'm saying? She hard out of Milwaukee. That's big sis, tap in with her. Nah, for shit show, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's not no really mainstream artist out of there to where like somebody can be like, yeah, that's, that's like, it's like y'all don't have a sound or y'all don't have too many, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think that the reason for that is? Like, it's, you growing up there. It's definitely talent in Milwaukee, but it's, what you think the reason for like the eyes not even on that talent in the city though? Because people don't push themselves to put they damn self out there. Mm -hmm. They lazy and all this other shit. Eyes on the city right now. Eyes on the city right now, for sure. But it's a lot of people that just don't push themselves hard enough to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, yeah, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, already, already, like, keep, keep. I ain't it's name dropping, but it's some people for real though. It's some people. It's some people in the city doing their thing. Yeah, hell okay. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So like, do you think? Cause you in Dallas doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Do you think you can, you can blow out Milwaukee, or do you think you have to get out of the city? Like, do you think you have to come to a bigger city and 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 and, and really put on, or do you think there's something you that gotta you can get do out of Milwaukee? Milwaukee? You gotta get out of Milwaukee. You think Damn, so? If you don't get out of Milwaukee, you gotta work. Work, work. You can't. You gotta be out of Milwaukee all the fucking time. You can't live there and really be doing shit. Yeah. Cause shit, I don't know. This shit just ain't regular. You know what I'm saying? It's just where the fuck you gonna get your support from? Right. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Travel and do shit with life. Okay, okay, okay. So you 19. You know what I'm saying? You've been in the music shit for two years. Like, what are you doing on a day to day basis to keep yourself out of trouble and keep focused on the music? Cause I mean, you young. And like, you know, young niggas do young nigga shit all the time. Like, what, <laughs> what are you doing, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to really like stay focused on the music shit? 
I'm in the studio all the fucking time, 24-7. You know what I'm saying? I'm both feet in this shit right now. I said, fuck all that other bullshit. Let's get some motherfucking money. All right. All right. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's time like you got a, a good shoulder on your head. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's tap into this a little bit, too. Like, as far as, like, Milwaukee. So, is nobody you can name in the city, like, underground doing their thing? Like, if you had to do a top five underground artists in the city doing their thing, like, could you name five artists? Diamond Banks. Shout out Diamond Banks. Lando Huncho. Okay. Who else? Damn. Lakia. Yeah. Yeah, she got signed with QC. I forgot about that, but yeah, she oh, doing her shit. Hell yeah, look here from Milwaukee. She was out here in Dallas not too long ago. Oh, what? Hell yeah, she yeah, doing her shit. I forgot, to be honest with you. But uh, Chicken, Lil Chicken. I think I heard of Lil Chicken. I got a product from Milwaukee. You can put me on these so things. Who was it? Who was that? Uh, uh, you know, Karan. Put me. Oh, uh, okay. And Looney Baby. Okay. okay. Looney Baby. Shout out to them boys putting in that work in the city, man. They doing their shit. Already, already, already. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's tap in a little bit, because it's, it's, it's 2021, and, like, a lot of things that art has been popping in different ways, and a lot of ways they've been popping is, like, the blogs. We see different lists, like, upcoming artists in the city lists that different blogs put out, and lists in general, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about lists? Like, do you feel like that's something you would want to be on? Do you look at that as an accomplishment or are you just not really worried about it? Like, how do you feel about blogs and lists in general? You think you need that to, you know what I'm saying, to catch a buzz or? I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's cool and all, but like, I don't really compare myself to everybody, so I don't give a fuck about no list of what everybody else really think. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I'm gonna do, I know what I'm capable of, so I know I'm gonna get my motherfucking bag. I don't give a fuck about everybody else. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I feel that, I feel that. So like, let's let's go back on the music too. For some people who, you know what I'm saying, tapping in, all the people on my channel tapping in, my fans and followers, you know what I'm saying, if they wanna go listen to your music, you know what I'm saying, like put, put us on a song or two that's maybe upcoming or that you got out right now that they can go tap into. I mean, for sure, for sure. The shit that I'm finna release really finna be that shit, but y'all can go look at my YouTube, see whatever the fuck y'all like. Forever okay. paid topic, bro. Look okay. that shit up, y'all gonna fuck with me. And I got other shit coming. Okay, okay. That's hard, that's hard, that's hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, how long you been in the Dallas area so far? A year. Okay. How you liking the city? I fuck with it. Is there any Dallas artists like upcoming that you would want to work with in the city? Like, or Hit me up. I don't know. I'm not. I don't really be. You know what I'm saying. Knowing everybody because I be on my own shit. Yeah. But shit, you never know what could happen. Okay. 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 So you know what I'm saying. You're 19. You've been in the city for for a year. You know what I'm saying. On your music tip and shit. Like. You're 19. You've been in the city for a year and shit on your music tip. You know what I'm saying. Is there any advice you can give any any young niggas like even your city or any city in general? Just like. On, on, on how we kick off like the music shit. Man. So you saying give them any advice? Like yeah, like, you know, you in the city, you grinding, you doing your thing, you, you working and shit. This might be another young nigga like that want to do what you doing, like any advice you can get on the- Don't you know give what I'm up. Don't ever give up in your fucking life. Okay. You could do whatever you put your mind to. Don't ever tell, don't ever let nobody tell you can't do some shit because why the fuck they ain't doing that shit then? Yeah. Do that shit on your motherfucking own. Don't let nobody tell you shit. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> like, when you in the studio, you doing your thing, like, what's, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your creative process, like, when to get in your zone as far as recording? Like, are you, you, you writing it down? Or are you tap, you punching in? Or, like... I could do both. But me, like, right now, I'm tapping in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just punching in for real, for real, because I don't really got to think much. It's just all in me already. Yeah. I can just do that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? If I feel like I really got some shit to be said, I'll write that shit. Okay. I'll write that shit, you know what I'm saying? But as far as right now, shit, I ain't been writing shit. I been just, you know what I'm saying, going in that motherfucker. Give me two seconds to think, all right, I got some other shit, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> so like for a studio vibe like you, like what you need in the studio to get in your zone? My motherfucking mind. That's it? <laughs> yup. I don't need shit, but my mind and a bottle of water so my voice don't crack. <laughs> already, already, already. Like, okay, like, so you, you, you investing yourself in the music, you're doing the interviews, you're doing the studio time, you're doing the music. 
I mean, the videos and shit, like, how much you think you in this shit for two years? Like, how much you think as far as, like, bread that you invested in yourself thus far to get here? Man, I don't even know, to be honest. I mean, shit. I bought my I bought all my own studio shit. That shit costed a lot. Well, you some of that yourself? shit, yeah, I record myself. But you know, my OG he passed me down some of that shit because you know some of that shit don't get made no more. Some of that shit, you know, is real fucking quality. You know, shit. You okay. know what I'm saying that shit got a number on it. So how'd you learn how to record yourself? Like you, you was on the YouTube, or you, or you, or they taught you? Your, your people taught you that? Yeah, my That's OG hard. taught me because he cold with that shit. I ain't cold, cold, but man, that nigga right there, he cold as fuck. He shoot music videos and make beats too. He cold. He That's do that hard. shit. That's hard. That's hard. I'm so like, you all. got your own, you know what I'm saying? Studio, you recording yourself. Like how how many hours you think you you, you put in as far as like investing in your craft as far as your music? Whenever I ain't, you know what I'm saying, doing something to get a bigger bag, I'm in the motherfucking studio or I'm contacting people trying to do some other shit for music. So really, all my fucking, all the time I got, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing this shit every day, all day. That's hard, that's hard. So you, you make beats too, or like who you fuck with on the producer side? Man, I don't, I'm looking for beats actually, but okay. I fuck with uh, Spancy Beats. He called me, he do that shit. Okay. Okay, that's hard. That's hard. So like, anything you know what I'm saying? You got upcoming like as far as mixtape that we can expect in, or, or or songs or features like what you got coming up soon? I mean, I got a couple songs coming. I might have an EP coming. Off the top of my head, I don't know, but it's finna get cracking. It's finna get cracking. I'm okay. telling you that right now. It's finna okay. go crazy. Well, let's switch lanes a little bit here, too, because, right. you know what I'm saying, you young, you in this music shit, you know what I'm saying, you sound like you got a good shoulder on your head, or a good head on your shoulders, and, like, lately, you know what I'm saying, as, as bad as it might seem, some of the young niggas, like, coming up lately has really been kind of coming up off of what they call clout chasing, you know what I'm saying, beefing, and shit like that, and, and you know what I'm saying, it's sad to see because unfortunately a lot of artists are losing their lives behind that shit, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and then you got artists that's actually catching a buzz on that shit, sad to say, like, what's your take on that, do you think, like, you know what I'm saying, like, what's yeah. your take on that? Lee, I had to learn this the hard way because nigga kept going to jail, but Lee, that street shit in the motherfucking streets, don't you ain't got to talk about that shit no more. Because I ain't, ain't trying to be in jail all the time. You ain't trying to be fucking dead. You know what I'm saying? Yo, mama love you. That's real. That's real. That's real. <laughs> so you say you've been locked up? Yeah. Damn. I ain't did that much time, though. Okay. Uh, Can you talk about it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna leave that off there. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So, unfortunately, that's something that the blogs naturally... Uh, you know what I'm saying? A track, you know what I'm saying? Beef and shit. And, and sometimes it go out, come out good for artists. And unfortunately, sometimes it come out sad. And it's good to see that you got a, you know what I'm saying? A good head on your shoulder. But unfortunately, it seems like that shit sometimes take a little longer. You know what I'm saying? To be seen, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, but that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's good that you're that you looking to stay out that way as far as that shit goes. You know what I'm saying? And let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk a little bit about... Let's get back on the blogs and shit in general. Is there any blogs that you think that's like sleeping on you? Like you think, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like hey, every motherfucking body. Everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Man. Already. Because right, it's right. finna be up. They ain't, they, they ain't gonna be sleeping on me in a minute though. They're gonna be like, "Man, why the fuck this nigga ain't texting back?" <laughs> <laughs> already. Already. You know what I'm saying? We wrapping up this interview, man. I want to give you the opportunity to like, if there's anything that's been on your chest or something you want to get off your chest while you got the opportunity, while you got the platform, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get that shit off your chest. Man, I don't really got nothing to say, man. Shout out my game, you know what I'm saying? Long live Vani, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? We finna go up when he's stopping right here. Shout out Milwaukee, man. We got Milwaukee in the building. Hey man, put your, let the people know your Instagram and shit and how they can tap into your music. You can tap in with me on Instagram, man. The real underscore FP underscore gutter one. And the only other Instagram that I got is linked in that bio right there. You can tap in with my music on SoundCloud and YouTube, Forever Paid Topic. Okay. Or, Give us a song that, the, that anybody watching this video that they need to click off this motherfucker and go tap into right now. Man, 
I'm finna drop real friends right after I get out this motherfucker. Go okay. tap in with real friends. Okay. That motherfucker. Tap in with anything you see. That motherfucker. All that shit. Everything. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Man, look, man, I appreciate you for coming through, man, fucking with us. Whatever you need, man, Discover Studios, man, you're more than welcome to come through, hit us up, we're going to get you a line and shit, keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? And when you come back, we're going to talk about them accomplishments. Anybody sleeping on this young nigga, man, tap the fuck in, man. He telling you on real shit. Time <laughs> to stop, man. Okay. <laughs> you gone. Yeah. Yeah, appreciate that shit. For sure, bro.